like this is what they need now, a white powder showing up on vehicles in Paradise and Megalia. But apparently it is not just those towns. It is, based on the comments, a lot of other towns, Red Bluff, and let's see, um, Butte Meadows, Berry Creek, Grass Valley. One commenter said, as a 65-year-old Ridge resident and over 35 years in my home in Megalia, this is not something we have ever seen before. At first, I thought it was the ash dropped by the fires. But then I put it under a microscope, and it has a crystalline substance looking like fine crystal salt and not at all powdery like wood ash. This appears more like volcanic ash, something carried by the jet stream from afar, something warrants further investigation, if not by the state, at least by Butte County Health, especially since there are so many elderly with respiratory problems up here. Okay, so they have described this white powder as um, slippery when you touch it. They're describing it as gritty gray powder. Some say it's a mystery white powder, but slippery when you touch it. Some were saying that it's pollen, but we all know that pollen is yellow and it sticks to cars. This stuff is white and it just blows right off. And Luna, apparently who lives in Megalia, said she spent a few hundred dollars detailing her car. A few hundred dollars detailing her car. Well, I don't know Luna, and I don't want to make any kind of presumption. Perhaps Luna has donated to all of those who have lost their homes. But if not, and someone is spending a few hundred dollars to get their car detailed, something is wrong with that action. Something is wrong with that kind of thinking. When you have so many of your own who have lost homes and you spend that kind of money on making sure your car is clean, yeah, I have trouble with it. So, uh, she said it was continuing to fall during the detailing process, so all day long it's been falling. We got up this morning and the cars were covered again. Lots of people are talking about it online, on Facebook. And Cal Fire Battalion Chief Joe Tapia said they have not received any calls about it. None of them have seen it. So, what is it? We don't know. Coal ash has, <clears throat> excuse me, large particles. And this apparently is just a very fine dust. I'll link below to the article. There's also many, many articles that refer to Megalia and Paradise. Why Megalia residents cannot return home. It's not just in paradise. Megalia man barricades himself inside res residence. Um, mystery white powder has residents concerned. Let's do the barricade article. 
So deputies are involved in a standoff with a man who has barricaded himself inside a Megalia home. It went on for hours. It was a domestic disturbance. I was wondering if it was uh, those residents who were told that they can't return and this guy got to his home and decided to barricade himself off. No, uh, it was domestic. You know how often I hear about these standoffs in South Carolina or the murdering of four or five family members in their home or the murder suicide just in South Carolina so I can imagine that our country is filled with a lot of angry angry people who seem to have no problem turning violent yeah this guy apparently punched and attacked the dog the canine dog huh. it wasn't injured but a SWAT team was called in tased and arrested him Apparently he was under the influence of drugs, either hallucinogens or central nervous system stimulants like meth or cocaine or psychiatric medications or microwave frequencies that attack the central nervous system. 